I love GoMix. I think this um, is so. You're looking idea. at code right now, and that oh, let's is go your back. Own... Let's look at some code here. Yeah. Wait a minute. All right. Whatever you did. Uh, I'm in a project. Okay, you're Welcome in a project. The it's a new beta. project. Yep. There's the URL. Um, that's a new project that has been made for you. Uh, whatever that URL is, you can tell anybody to go there, and they're looking at your code, and it's running, and you're looking at live. So it code, looks a little which you can edit. like GitHub. I mean, I've got a README. Uh, uh, I've got some. Yeah. I've got some. You've code. got some source code, except that it runs. It's like GitHub with a play button, right? Wow. And in fact, you can think of it as the play button for GitHub. Like I've got a bunch of code on GitHub. How do I make a server out of this? Well, that's what GoMix is. It's nice. just the code running. Uh, whereas and GitHub is all about storing the the lines of code themselves. This also this runs runs it's right. A, you can go change anything. It's a, and you're using containers to make this uh, doable. You mentioned mm -hmm. all right. And then there's sort of a remixing idea, which is you 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 maybe you make a little game, you show it to your friends, they can hit the remix button, and they're starting where you were, but they can change the code and maybe make the game funnier in some way. Oh, add, that's really add cool. some frogs. So it makes sense, given your background, that collaboration is a big part of, of right. how this works. We have a theory that uh, that the, the ninety nine percent of what people need of all the people that are coding, not professional programmers, but the regular people that are coding, what they need for collaboration is the ability to go back to old versions, like if they make a mistake, and yeah. the ability to work on the same source code with somebody else at the same time. You don't need all the advanced functionality that comes with a real version control system like Git. What you really need is something more like Google Docs. Like I can type and you can type, and whatever we type just shows up and, and, and is kind of continuously merged automatically. Uh, nice so use of emojis throughout this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, it's fun. You know what? Uh, I think Slack taught us programmers yeah. want to have fun. Programmers like girls just want right. to have fun. Right. <laughs> and, uh, and so it, you, it's, it's nice to be in an environment where it's joyous yeah. and not grinding, you know? Yeah, that's a part of, uh, that's the other idea of GoMix is to try to, um, you know, one, one of the dreams, and there's sort of a lot of dreams, but one of the dreams is sort of just a bunch of people writing fun, little yeah. useful bits and pieces of code yeah. um, uh, that you can then sort of share, remix, reuse for, for other purposes. Um, it's great because unlike any other system, the code is has a place. We give you a container on the internet where it's running live 24-7. Uh, so, for example, if you need a Slack bot that will come into your Slack channels and talk, or if you need something that will download something every five minutes and, you know, parse it and maybe look for changes and push them someplace, uh, you can you can do that because, um, you know, we give you a real server. That, uh, with a real, real so, URL. it's interesting because you're kind of mixing GitHub and, and companies like DigitalOcean or Amazon mm -hmm. Web Services. Yeah, Heroku a little bit. Heroku because it's running. The, yeah, Heroku is a very professional version of this for like a real yeah. programmer and that's we awesome. Our, our website's on Heroku. Yeah. yeah. And again, like a great uh, environment. I love everything they do. Um, and for professional programmers, you need the bells and whistles and the functionality. DigitalOcean yeah, is also great, by the way. I, I go look at it yeah. and, and I go, okay, I guess, I guess I'm going to call the developers because I don't know what the hell's right. going going on here right and I changing one line of code is crazy but the also the other side of Heroku is if I want to develop in it I have to recreate I have to run grunt and all this stuff on my desktop right I have to recreate this environment yep and it's and it's a house of cards <laughs> it's you change one thing and the whole thing collapses and you got to start well that's been so. my experience anyway yeah. <laughs> so so um i gave up you know i actually walked through it with our development team i said i okay i'd like to run the code on my on my home computer mm -hmm. so i can try some changes and then right. we can put them up in the and then you check them in and deploy them somehow yeah somehow. yeah so go mix me was essentially a pain said, in the butt like nobody who's not a professional pro if you're a professional programmer you ignore this stuff but everybody else does not want to think about any of that deployment they don't want to think about mm -hmm. editing they don't want to think about the environment they don't want to think about so i could do this all in the browser yes you just you, you just remember your url your url you go there you edit your code the code that you edit is deployed as you edit as you are typing it's kind of the ruby on rails code. idea which is it's, you modify a running yeah, it's even more than that. It's it's like right now, if there, you see "Hello World" in the sample app and you change it to "Hello Banana," it's gonna it's gonna nice. uh, 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 impact that. That was away. the thing that blew me away about Ruby on Rails is that you could create a minimum viable product, a very simple thing. Mm -hmm. Go to the client, say, "What do you think?" And he could say, "Well, make that red." And you go, "Okay, now what do you red. think?" Yeah, and um, that is an amazing iterative cycle that is so powerful. Yeah. Uh, and things, everything, every programming environment starts out that way. But if the professional programmers take over, <laughs> yeah, no. they're going to add every possible no. option that anybody requests. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I'm thrilled is I, you know, I would like to use a Chromebook every day, all the time. And yeah. one of the few things you really you can't can do. This do from my phone, actually. 
Wow. Yeah. You just can't do a, you I couldn't. I looked at there there are ways there's code anywhere and stuff that you can kind of code in a Chromebook in a browser. Mm -hmm. But this is this is an environment. Right. That's running. Yep. And you're coding in in a browser. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I love this idea. <laughs>